Hello folks, 8th of February, just making a correction to the form which is going to be awkward for me now putting my hand in so I'm using a, a, a bottleneck tool here just to sometimes when you're using one of these tools and when you put it in sometimes it's not always easy to see exactly where it is you're you're pushing against so what I recommend you do is you put it in with the wheel stationary and you just tap, you just tap the, the side of the pot and you'll immediately see where it's touching, you see. And then that can help you to put it in the right place where you need it. That's just a little tip I've worked out for myself so I finished this pot now I'm just going to leather the rim here I wasn't a hundred percent happy with the finish of the top so what I did was I I rolled the rim over on the top to give the pot a slightly a slightly more generous top than it had before so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a few couple of minutes with this this is going to help it dry because right now in the middle of winter things are not drying really so by doing this you do speed up the whole process snowing again today's the day when the northwest here is supposed to be getting this huge snowstorm but it's not really affecting us here in Pennsylvania that much I don't think we'll see maybe by the morning we'll have a foot of snow So the decoration here you can see has been paddled. Are we in the picture? Yeah, so Okay, that'll do for now. Now because this pot, because this pot has got an outside decoration on it already, I don't really want to pick the pot up because it might, um, it might
might smudge smudge the decoration. So I'm going to use use my T bar there and um, and I'm going to take the whole thing off on the bat like that. So that's another pot. I need is another bat for there. My kingdom for a bat. <laughs> My kingdom for a bat. So we're gonna this bat pad I've had on here for some time. I'll take it off. And um Incidentally, when you've got clay and you're not quite sure whether to recycle it or whether just to wet it down, some clay you see isn't is too hard. It gets beyond a certain point, and it's better just to let it dry out and then recycle it. Other clay, you, you could think, well, this is still soft enough. No point in recycling it. It's just extra work. So if it's a bit like that, just wet it. Just put it to one side, come back to it in an hour or two and that will be soft again and you can reintroduce that back into your, into your um, main, main lot of clay. So I'm just cleaning off the top of the wheel head here. Too much stuff here in the way. Don't have too many things that you don't need. So what I've got to do now is what I've got to do now is I've got some um, some trimming to do actually. Yeah, I've got a number of pieces here that are ready for trimming. And also another here, plus a two more up there as well. So this, these pots were paddled and expanded, and it's now ready to for me to come along. And um, using my my trim tools. Um, do some do some trimming so Let's bring the camera in a, a little bit. There you can see, I think a bit clearly, a bit more clearly.
I'm just trying to think how to finish off the bass with this one because as you see the 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 paddle defect has come right down to the foot. If I cut away like I usually do, I'm going to cut away a lot of that pattern. So, I'm just wondering to myself what would be was thinking to myself that I wanted to actually narrow the foot but, but to narrow the foot of course I'm going to in fact what I've really done is I've left not enough really enough space that that decor that 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 paddle defect I took down too low so it hasn't really left me enough room to maneuver in terms of how perhaps I might want to just finish this. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a foot on it, even if it means cutting away a little bit of this, because I think that's going to be the best option. Every pot has its challenge, its challenges, doesn't it? It's not always straightforward, especially when you're doing a little bit more individual work. You're a little bit more doing things according to feeling and how things are working out in the in the moment, rather than doing an old familiar shape or an old familiar design that you've done a hundred times already. And you know, you know what to expect, what to do, you know. So let me see. Yeah. I think we we managed that okay without really mucking up that 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 design too much I'm just thinking maybe the foot I would like a little deeper so that means coming in a bit more horizontally here just a fraction Okay, I'm going to cut out the inside of the foot, foot ring. It's a little soft actually, the clay at the minute, I have to say. Well, for me it is.
better just check the, 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 the through the base here because I don't want to um, to trim through the base. Seems that we're okay. It's easy though to trim through the base, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, he's got a fairly fine little rim here, so the actual contact area is not not as much as I would like, perhaps. So he's having a tendency to slip off. But we're not daunted. I've trimmed a foot on that. I'm actually debating to myself whether it should be a little deeper, the actual depth of the actual foot itself. Well, you can see how important it is to learn how to to tap center because a, a project like this could end up being rather frustrating, couldn't it? Um, if you had a problem knowing how to tap center, it, the whole thing would become a total Total shambles, what? Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's it. Oh yeah, something I was going to do, and that was to add a couple of lines, or one line, on the top here. probably can't see it but there's like a a little dip here I'm going to use my fingernail because it's nice and round and I'm going to use that as a as a tool you see to trim away there There's a little lip here, the lip just, just comes up a little bit. So I'm going to centre him up. I'm going to take my trim tool and I'm going to put in here there a line 
And now I'm thinking, should I put one or two? I think we'll leave it at one. Sometimes I put two lines here, but I don't have this, this little bit here is not quite wide enough. And I think by putting two lines in there, it's gonna conflict with the decoration. I don't wanna do that. So we'll stop at one. So by putting a line in there, you see, it, it's br it, it brings it together, doesn't it, visually? I think it does, anyway. Um, it brings about a termination that is definite rather than just this pattern just finishing in a random way. And it sort of visually, it crisps it up for the eye. So you see, it sees it. It's all about, it's, illu it's an illusion, isn't it, really? I mean, a lot of things is, is an illusion. But you have to create an illusion. And there's one or two things that you can do sometimes to, to do that. And sometimes by putting a line like that in, you can um, create a type of illusion where it visually brings it all together to, to a meeting point. Remember I told, we, we did this discussing the other day about doing that top of a, uh, a little lidded pot. Remember I was doing, I was doing that radial fluting and I said I wanted to bring it to a point in the middle. And you, you need to have a point there because that's a visual, all these lines we see all come to a point. So you put that point there or a little spigot or something. Anyway, this is the same sort of idea. Anyway, as you can see, I've got more to do here. Anyway, nice to be with you again <laughs> here on the tube. And uh, please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. Um, I have one, one leech treadle wheel available and um, in a kit form. And please check out our auction. We're having an auction there, always on the site of a, of a pot of some kind. At the moment, there's tea bowls, but uh, that may change to, to other pots. So uh, please go there, at least have a look. And um, yeah, and keep practicing. See you soon. Bye-bye.